Hello and welcome to another update video about Kronos. Um, yeah, Crow also here in a similar in a similar situation as many other coins. We are dealing here with a potential wave two correction. I call it at the moment a flat pattern in which we rallied off the 10th of March low in a wave one, came down in an A wave, moved up in a overshooting B wave, and we're now coming down in C. I think we talked about that in the last video and since then the price has um, developed in the expected direction. We talked about um, an overshooting B wave here and I remember I measured for you the typical overshooting B wave resistances and we looked at the 1.38 which is the yeah more or less official maximum an overshooting B wave should do. It got rejected there as you can see we had a wick above it but that's you can neglect that. Um, so we had that overshooting B wave and the price has reacted and has come down since then and is on its way back into the support area and in an ideal case it will find support yeah somewhere here between 6.3 cents and 6.8 there is no change to the analysis really this is resistance yeah and really only if we get a break above the um, b wave high yeah we can talk really about a substantial breakout or a first impulse to the upside um Either way, it doesn't look like the move down is finished yet. We can try to yeah, calculate targets a little bit more accurately by taking the length of the A wave. We go to the high of the B wave and then we look for, well, one key target is the 1.618 extension. That is at uh, 6.5 cents. Okay, and that would be directly in the yellow support area anyway. Pretty much very close to the golden ratio, the 61.8 retracement. I think that might be a level to watch. Certainly what I can tell you is at the moment I don't see any sign that it has bottomed yet, um, but it's heading now back into the support region and we had a lot of support in that region here before, around the 6.8 and 6.6 .6 cent level. Bear in mind 6.5 is the 1.618 extension, a very typical target for a C wave. Yeah, so in this sort of flat pattern, over, well, running flat or expanded flat, both are possible here. It just means the running flat just means that the C wave high will be shorter and will end above the A wave. In an expanded flat, it will end below it. Um, it might just end round about where A ended anyway, if we consider that 1.618 extension, yeah, and then it has a chance to reverse from here, which is of course not guaranteed, but based on the decline, based on the pattern, how it looks, it certainly has a chance, but it needs to hold the 6.3 cent level because if it doesn't, it's going to break below the 78.6 retracement. And that will um, always indicate that the overall 1-2 setup here, which is a bullish trade setup, one of the best setups in Elliott Wave, that it's not going to work out because it indicates too much weakness of the chart. Yeah, that's my update about Crow. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.